welcome in our first guest here on the Blue Couches today. Ellen Clark is the Emergency Management Coordinator for Crawford County, uh, the Department of Public Safety, Emergency Preparedness. Um, and it, this month of September is Emergency Preparedness Month. Welcome, Alan. Uh, talk a little bit about the importance of being prepared for any kind of emergency. Sure. Um, you know, we need to be prepared for any type of emergency. So what kind of emergencies do we have here in Northwest Pennsylvania? Weather, quite often. Snow. Okay. Yeah. Tornadoes. We've seen so much about hurricanes and it mm -hmm. kind of snaps us into, well, yeah, we, sh we should get prepared, although we don't see that type of natural disaster. But I'm thinking, you know, heavy snow. Heavy snow. Absolutely. And even cyber threats. So mm. there's oh, a lot of things yeah. that we could you know, could impact us. You know, flooding is probably one of our number one. Uh, we get the remnants of those hurricanes, so right. which cause a lot of flooding. Mm -hmm. So we need to know what hazards could affect us here in Northwest Pennsylvania. Um, then we need to have several ways of getting alerts. You know, watching the weather, getting them on our phones, having a weather alert radio, uh, mm -hmm. listening to TV. Um, so we need to know, have different ways, um, even the sirens um, to alert us of a tornado. So once we can receive all those, we really need to have a plan. What are we going to do if there is a tornado warning? Where do we go to seek shelter? Mm -hmm. If there's a fire, how do we get out of our house? Mm -hmm. Two different ways. You know, if there's flooding, you know, obviously turn around, don't drown mm -hmm. is the motto. So we need to have a plan for all our families and our pets. Yeah. And we hear a lot, have an emergency kit. What does that mean, an emergency kit? Sure. Um, what things would you need um, if the electric's out? Um, just a couple months ago, my water was out in my home. Mm -hmm. So we had to, you know, have a backup water, mm -hmm. you know, drinking water, water to flush our toilets. Um, so things that you might need to implement those plans. Uh, my wife has a great um, emergency kit in our basement. Uh, they might be on the screen. Um, different supplies. So if you don't want to be eating butter beans and <laughs> asparagus, you know, next time you go to the store, uh -huh. um, pick up some extra non-perishable foods, keep them around. Toilet paper, glow sticks are a great things. Yeah. Things for kids. You know, if the electric's out, um, but you're fine, your house is fine, you just need to stay home, you know, what can you use? Um, to keep you until the electric is restored. Yeah. In my younger days, my dad always used to harp on me about having an emergency kit in my car, uh, especially in, the, in you know winter, mm -hmm. um, and that would include flares and a blanket and and some extra winter gear, maybe a snack or two, because you just never know. Absolutely, you need emergency you know plans, kits um, for home, for work, you know here, um, and in your vehicles. Mm -hmm. Talk about cyber threats, back to that threat. Yeah. Uh, can we do anything to prepare for that? Sure, there's a lot of great experts out there that can help um, you know, secure your computers, mm -hmm. not clicking on, um, you know, you want a million dollars, mm -hmm. email and download this. So there's lots of um, you know, safety and preparedness things. If you go to ready.gov, they have a, a, a wealth of information. So we know the hazards, we uh, have our plan, we have a kit. We need to practice it. Mm. Just like kids at school, they practice tornado drills, mm -hmm. they practice fire drills. We need to do that at home and at work um, so that, you know, it's muscle memory. You know, when, when something happens, we can, um, you know, remember what we did and we can practice. Yeah, and that's a good idea. And actually, our, our boss does that for us. We do right. have a plan and he reiterates that every once in a while so we all remember. Um, Alan, thank you so much for mm -hmm. joining us. We do appreciate it. Again, that website is ready.gov. Ready.gov. Check it out and uh, talk about it with your family, yeah. make your plans, and practice your plans. Thanks, Alan. When